So growing up, things like yoga or acupuncture, they weren't ever really talked about. I never woke up one morning to see my father in the living room in like the warrior one position like my kids do. Many of the traditions and the practices of Eastern culture, they were just considered like hokey or just some kind of witchcraft. And with this kind of background, when it came to learning things for me, like meditation or mindfulness, I was just really skeptical to dip my toe in. However, when I finally decided to experiment with meditation, I found that it was a tool that was crucial in my mental well-being. Today, you might be going through a challenging time mentally, and I want to share with you three things that meditation helped me with when it came to my mental health journey. So if you're ready to learn, let's dive in. Hey friends, this is Nick with the Life Recreated Podcast. And on this show, it's all about learning, healing, and growing in mind, body, and soul. And each week, we tackle the difficult conversations so that we can learn how to fully walk in the freedom as a new creation. Number one and how meditation helped me. I learned that my negative thoughts are not me. You know what, let's be honest. Oftentimes, these thoughts can be coming at us like 100 miles an hour. And in those moments when we have intense thoughts that are just flashing across our mind, it can feel like what we're thinking is true. Ariana Huffington said that meditation is not about stopping our thoughts, but recognizing that we are more than our thoughts and our feelings. And for me, meditation helped me to create that separation. Now, it wasn't something that just happened overnight. Like I didn't meditate one day and then the next day I'm all good and like everything is fine. But over time, it helped me to create a separation, especially when I was having those difficult times. When we can train our minds to recognize who we are, as opposed to the flashes of thoughts that often can come to our mind, we can find ourselves in a better place mentally over time. Number two, it helped me to slow down. One of the issues that I have with even my mind is that it's always racing and it can feel like there are very few times when we actually feel calm. Think about it, when you're on the edge and you feel like everything is moving fast, a lot of times it's hard for us to relax, it's hard for us to concentrate, it's really hard for us to be productive. But when you're able to calm down, there seems to be like a flow and things just move with a lot more ease. The things that may have ruffled your feathers before or made you upset, they don't seem to upset you as much as they did. In other words, for me, meditation really helped me to just slow everything down. One of my favorite basketball players of all time is Kobe Bryant, and he said this about meditation. I think it's important because it sets me up for the rest of the day. It's like having an anchor. If I don't do it, I feel like I'm constantly chasing the day as opposed to being controlled and dictate the day. Let's think about what he's saying right there. He's letting us know that at the beginning of the day, he'll take that time to really just slow down his mind. And that gives him the ability to go out into the rest of his day and really have control of his day, really be on top of his day. And I feel like meditation is one of the ways that we can do that. Another author, Bryant McGill, says this, your calm mind is the ultimate weapon against your challenges. So relax. So a lot of times for me, whenever I get stressed out, I'm moving too fast, I'm thinking too fast, I'll take some time to really just try and meditate, slow down myself, be mindful in that present moment. Number three, the last one, a very important one is this. It helps to combat depression and anxiety. Now, I know in a lot of the things that I've talked about on some of my other videos, I've shared some of my own struggles when it comes to depression, anxiety, the things that I've wrestled with and learned over these last few years. Implementing meditation into my toolbox is something that has been crucial in helping me to overcome some of those difficulties in my life. And I wouldn't say that they're easy. It's not always easy for us to do something like that or to meditate or be mindful at a certain time, especially when we're maybe upset about something and or feel like we're stuck. So it's not something that's always easy for us to do, but I look forward to doing it because as we know with a lot of things that the things that kind of take effort to do in the beginning, once you get into the groove of making it a habit, the benefits a lot of times outweigh the cost. And so in those moments where I was feeling down, where I was feeling maybe anxious, taking the time to really continue the practice of meditation and being mindful 
over time, it, I was able to see the cost benefit that it has. Meditation also helped me with the feelings of anxiety and it helped me to just slow down long enough to recognize those thoughts and recognize those anxious thoughts aren't me. Kendrick Lamar, who is one, probably one of the most prolific MCs of our generation, he talked about meditation. He says this, meditation is a must. If it doesn't hurt you, you might as well try it. And that's the approach that I take to meditation a lot of times is that when we look at it, if this is something that's not not going to be damaging to you, but it could oftentimes be something that's beneficial. Just try it. Give it a try. Maybe you don't know how it might be able to help ease some of the things that you have going on in your mind. So to wrap up, meditation can be one of the tools in your mental health toolbox. And instead of letting the train run wild with our thoughts, we can train it to be in the present moment in a calm and fluid manner. I'll leave links down below on some resources that can help if you're getting into meditation for the first time. I know for me, Headspace was a tremendous tool and resource that I can recommend. And also if there are other areas of your life where you feel like you can learn healing growth. Sign up for our newsletter where we provide tips and tools just like this that you can put in your toolbox that can help. Lastly, before I go, Life Recreated, we have just recently launched Recreated Man. This is meant to be a safe space for men to find a tribe and to get the tools that they need to help learn, heal, and grow. And if you're a man or you're someone that could benefit from a community like that, I'll leave a link down below for you to check it out. This has been Nick with the Life Recreated Podcast. Until next time, keep learning, keep healing, and keep growing.